Hey, Rob here for Quadratech.com. Today I've got Mike with me from Edelbrock in the studio. Thanks for coming by. Oh, thanks for having us. No problem. And we've got the Edelbrock E4 supercharger laid out on the table here. Why don't you run us through this kit and, and you know, what makes this different and set you apart from the competition? Okay. Um, first of all, I mean, this is the newest product in the E-Force line. This is for the 3.6 uh, late model Jeep Pentastar motors. Of course, we're using the Eaton rotor packs, uh, most maintenance-free rotor pack on the industry. Mm -hmm. uh, every 100,000 miles, the only service interval on the rotor pack. Right. A couple things that set us apart um, versus a lot of the other units that are out there. Uh, one is our, our intake plenum that we do. Most of the, most of the supercharger housings run a, a, an open box style plenum. Mm -hmm. And what that ends up happening, what ends up happening in that engine is the cylinders start scavenging from each other because there's no way to direct the, the air in there. Right. What we do is we incorporate the plenum, the actual intake runners into the plenum, which help uh, give you better drivability and more tunability for the programming. Mm -hmm. Of course, with the, the dual pass intercooler that's built into the unit as well, helps keep that air charge nice and cool when it gets down in there. Right. Then, of course, the, the, the supercharger housing itself, um, we did a lot of different design features on it in order to make it fit and work properly for the Jeep. Mm -hmm. One of the biggest features we have is you'll notice the little cutout in the front of the housing here. Right. What that enables you to do is on the Jeep, that 3.6, the oil filter is actually up top. So you have to pull it out and change it and it comes out through the top. Right. With this little notch in the housing, it allows you to maintain and use the factory oil filter without any inter inter interference from the supercharger. Right. Um, some of the other ones require that you change the, do use a two-piece filter housing and everything else, and it's mm -hmm. kind of messy to, to go and update and change your filter. So it's great. This has been designed to work around the Jeep, not the other way around. That's exactly. Nice. Exactly. Um, we also include in the kits Try to make it as easy and user friendly as possible for right. any any shop or any you know do do it yourself or guy to install it on their Jeep. Mm -hmm. All the hoses that you get for the intercoolers and everything else are all custom molded to fit the application, so everything falls right in place and looks nice and factory and clean when you're done. Right. All the wiring harnesses that come with the kit are all plug and play, so there's no cutting, soldering, anything like that, adding extra wires anywhere. It's all plug and play extensions come in the kit, so it Perfect. makes it very simple, very easy to use. Yeah. Uh, we use a really nice uh, dual-pass uh, high-temp radiator for the front that helps keep that air charge nice and cool. Mm -hmm. The intercooler system is a liquid-to-air intercooler system. We run a, it's, it's its own separate cooling system. So it has its own water pump, hoses, reservoir, everything else to help keep that air charge nice and cool. Great. And every kit comes with uh, the programmer, right. which has our, the Edelbrock calibration in the kit. Mm -hmm. um, if you're using the Edelbrock calibration, uh, we also offer a three-year, 36,000-mile powertrain warranty, mm -hmm. no charge to the customer. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. So it's just a good peace of mind when you're doing this upgrade to your kit. Right. A um, couple other features, if I can mention. Mm -hmm. Our kit out of the box runs eight pounds of boost mm -hmm. and is emissions legal okay. at eight pounds. Um, some of the other kits that are out there uh, run the six pounds of boost. Mm -hmm. And that's their emissions legal kit. And if you want to go to the eight pound kit, you have to pay extra and do a bunch of swaps and it's not emissions legal anymore. Right. Um, one of the other big features that our calibration engineers were able to, to incorporate into this tune mm -hmm. is the stock Jeep calibration on the throttle body only allows you about 75% throttle uh, until the engine reaches about 5,500 RPM. Right. With our calibration, what we were able to do is give you 100% throttle at when you put that pedal down to the metal, you've got 100% of the throttle capability right. yeah. instantly, which is what you want when you're installing a supercharger. Sure, on your truck. yeah, you're not putting a supercharger in to make 75% of the available right. power. <laughs> so that calibration's in the kit already. Awesome. So just a few little things that we do differently. Our, all of our calibrations on our vehicles go through very extensive testing. Mm -hmm. um, we're very rigorous on all of our calibrations and, and how they drive, and, and drivability is extremely important. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's important because a lot of these guys, you know, they're putting these on their their Jeeps that they're driving every day. It's exactly. It's not just their dedicated off-road rig. It's something that they've got to use Monday through Friday and then go play with on the weekends. Well, well exactly. So. And on the drivability side, uh, I don't want to forget to mention. You can see on the side here this this actuator. Mm -hmm. This is actually an integrated bypass valve that we've built into the head unit of all of our superchargers. Right. What that does for you, um, under normal driving conditions, mm -hmm. okay, you're cruising down the freeway, 70 mile an hour cruise controls on, on going on a trip. This bypass valve op you know opens up in between the plenum and the and the rotor pack. Doesn't allow the plenum to build pressure. Mm -hmm. Okay. So effectively, you're free spinning the rotor pack. Right. Um, which means it's very minimal 
you know, drain on the engine. Mm -hmm. So your fuel economy is minimally to not affected at all. Right, yeah. But as soon as you touch that throttle, that actuator valve closes mm -hmm. and you've got full boost. Yeah, when you want that power, it's there, but exactly. you still get the livability and drivability. Exactly. Uh, out of it, the Jeep. And um, like you mentioned, I mean, this is a, this is a great looking kit. It looks awesome when it's installed. I mean, you even mentioned here, we've got new custom made fuel rails for the, yes. for the kit. Um, and then, I mean, even little details like a, you know, a port on the plenum here for running a boost gauge and things like that. So Correct. Now that we've wrapped up the install of the Edelbrock E4 Supercharger, we brought our Wrangler back down here to HHP Racing. We've got it all strapped up on the dyno, and we're going to see what kind of power this Wrangler can really put out. Well, yeah, like you mentioned, I mean, this kit is is totally complete, top to bottom. You guys have thought of everything to make it, you know, install easy, look great, give you, you know, usable power, very livable. So I really appreciate you coming by today. We appreciate you having us. Thank and, you. Uh, walking us through everything in the kit. Of course, if this is your first time watching, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you're always the first to know about all the latest product reviews, how-to videos, and more. And then you can click on the E4 Supercharger to grab one for your Jeep today.